today is but a start. It is not the end. We expect to get better and better as time goes on. But our hope is in doing this, we can improve trust in business because we believe it's when we bring the capital markets together, companies together with the right that we can really make a difference in the world. Good for business, but also good for society as well. For our index franchise, we're a permanent shareholder. So we, if we don't like what's going on at City, we can't actually just walk away and sell the stock. Our whole purpose is to uh, take a stand for investors, give them the best chance of success, and you know to do it with a very long-term perspective. If a company really has no growth opportunities, then it probably is better off giving back the profits. Not to borrow to, to do that, but at least giving back most of the profits. But, you know, if a company really has no good long-term growth opportunities, then maybe they need, the board needs to look for a different management and see, you know, what is this company's future? Maybe it ought to be merged into something. Maybe it ought to acquire some new business. So do we really want a, a company that goes on for year after year with no long-term growth opportunities? I, I don't think so. The basic problem in healthcare around the globe is it's not sustainable. And you really have four elements that you have to manage. Increasing access, you've got to improve outcomes, you've got to have better clinical outcomes, you've got to take your costs down, and everything's got to be safe at the same time. So that's how we start our thinking. The speed of change uh, that we're seeing is probably the fastest in a century, uh, but it's creating enormous opportunities for companies that can figure out how to navigate that change and I think PG&E is in a great position to do just that. PG&E is a company on the cutting edge of community involvement and sustainability practices. And then on the other hand, it also is a very attractive investment uh, for the future. The goal of all of healthcare, which is to drive better outcomes at lower costs. At any given moment of the day, we are caring for over 200,000 people and who are these people? They're generally people that are 85 and older. And they suffer from two diseases that there is no cure for. And those diseases are frailty and the, the other disease is dementia. So what we do at Well Tower is offer a reasonable, residential care solution to managing both these two diseases. The ability to help somebody's health is in the best interest of society and it's actually a great business model. We've set an enterprise goal in our company that goes something like this, that we improve the community's health by 20% by 2020 through making it easier for people to achieve the best health. Our long-term view is, is that we continuously focus on improving our members' health. And if we can do that, it's a great business model. How do we bring technology and bring innovation into our clients in a way that gets accepted and, and can actually improve the, the work we do and improve our clients' outcomes? By some estimates, as much as 80% of all the world's data has been created in the last few years alone. So the element that will transform professions is how we capture that data and how we make uh, better decisions out of it. We have to be the best in the world at measurement because that is the core of our business. And if we're not, um, if we're not exceptionally good at, the, at what forms the core of our business, we can't expect to be successful over the long run.